Well, for the first time in a long time, I have no clue what to do. <laughs> that needs to be replaced. semi-trucks on I-80 because I'm stuck in fourth gear and crew still. Actually, fifth gear is disintegrated now. <laughs> I accidentally tried to shift into fifth gear. Like, I just do that out of habit sometimes. Um, and I tried to do that the other day on accident and it was all grinded gears. Like, I couldn't even get into fifth gear. So I was like, well, that's a good reminder that my fifth gear is gone. So, anyways. I don't know what I was thinking when I was thinking of spending a week in all of these Midwest states. Nebraska, Kansas, Iowa, whatever. I don't know what I was thinking. But I kind of assumed there would be camping here, and there is no camping, okay? So I put a poll up on Instagram. Hi, guys. Help me decide my life really quick, okay? Um, I'm on my way home to Michigan. So if you follow the YouTube channel, you know that. I'm currently in Nebraska, and I had the plan over the next four weeks to slowly go home to Michigan and hit all the states on the way and check them off the 50 state road trip. You know, Iowa, Kansas, Nebraska, Indiana, whatever. There's nothing to do in Nebraska, okay? There's nothing. There's nothing, the weather sucks. There's nowhere to camp, there's nowhere to camp. Everything is like a roadside pull off or a dry parking lot, an eye overlander. And I'm like, that's not good content. I don't wanna stay here based on principle. My little brain wants me just to go home to Michigan and like speed through all of these states so that I can get home, drop off all my stuff and then go to the good spots where I know they are. But I also don't wanna miss all of these states or rush through them. What should I do? What should I do? The pool is splitting kinda down the middle right now. People are starting to favor me just running home, which I appreciate because that's kinda what I wanna do. But um, yeah, I think instead of just for sure spending like four weeks on my way to Michigan. I'm not gonna like overnight drive there. I'm gonna I'm gonna just keep moving. And if something works and I can stay there for a night, cool. But like if there's no camping and I have nothing to do and I'm not gonna like just stay on the side of a highway. You know, Blue has to get out of the car. I don't want him running around high traffic areas. You guys get it, so yeah. Right now I'm just trying to get out of Nebraska. And it's raining pretty heavy for the next few hours, so Blue and I really don't have anything to do anyways. We already got our steps in for the day, so Blue's just taking like a heavy nap and I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna drive. We just crossed into Iowa. We just went under the sign. So. Hi, Iowa. State number seven.
I've ever gone into depth with you guys about my love for the 80s music genre, but it, uh, it's a pretty deep, deep love and commitment that I have to 80s music. So, give me some Beastie Boys and some Whitney, uh, a little bit of Def Leppard, and I'm set. I'm, uh, I'm all set. I need to find a gas station because I'm starting to get very sleepy and I need some sort of energy. I guess I can pull over and make a coffee too, but... Stop. You've got to stop touching the steering wheel blue. It's not safe. I'm going to kick you to the back if you keep doing that, okay? Understand all of the English I just said. Poor, poor kid, okay? All right, let's take you potty, come on. All right, go potty. Oh, hello. This is like the tiniest little baby peanut latte I've ever seen. Oh well. Apparently it has collagen in it, so that's like healthy or something. Okay, back on the road we go. I am just gonna go that famous truck stop tonight. Rue, why are you spitting CDs out at me? How bizarre. I didn't even know I had a CD in there. How far away are we from this world famous truck stop? Four hours. Our ETA right now is midnight, but Rue does not go very fast. So we're probably gonna be there at like 1 a.m. would be my guess, or even later. Well, it's gonna be fun night. It's gonna be a fun night, lots of driving. Are you ready for that, Papu? It's a good thing we got all of our walking in today already, huh? Okay. On the road again. I can't wait to get on the road again. Listen to more 80s music. Cause I love Whitney Houston. up in the world. I cannot feel my butt because <laughs> I've been sitting for so long. So I'm definitely getting very uncomfortable. I'm probably just going to pull up to this truck stop and crash. I don't know how much stealth is going to go on tonight. I'm going to whip into a spot and go to bed because holy cow, I am beat. I lost track of how many coffees I've had today as well. I know I've had at least four. So, I don't know why I'm so tired, but. bubby has been great. He's just been passed out this whole time. Um, I think walking him for as long as I did earlier today is really helping out because he's just sleeping. Thankfully, we're almost 
almost to the truck stop. I'm so glad we made it. I'm so freaking tired. Uh, it's after 1 a.m. It's time for me to go to bed, okay? I've driven over seven hours today. So it's kind of nuts. Okay, here's all the other RVers. And as you guys know, we always back into our spots here. We made it! Oh my gosh. I can't feel my legs. Usually I'm pretty good with long drives. I don't know what it was today. Maybe because I decided to uh, leave so late, I couldn't tell you. I don't know why it was so bad, but oh my gosh, that was like the most uncomfortable, tiring drive I've had in a very, very long time. But all right, let's uh, let Blue get to bed. What? Maria, brain on, turn on. Let's let Blue go out to potty, and then I need to brush my teeth, wash my face, and go to sleep. Oh, honey. Bub, come over here. Isn't that funny how bad drives just stick with you? Like, I swear I can name every single bad drive I've ever had like that, where you're like almost falling asleep and you're uncomfortable or whatever. They low key kind of haunt me. <laughs> oh, hi, sir. Bubba, we gotta go to bed. I know you just took the longest nap of your life, and now you're probably up and ready to party. But your mom's ready to sleep. I don't know. How did you already get up there? That was quick. Hi. I know. Can't get down. Get down. Come on. Oh. No, I knew this was gonna end up being a pickle because now Blue's all squirrely because he just slept that whole drive. <laughs> and I'm tired. Oh, good luck to us, Pupaloo. I think I'm borderline delirious, and this is like the most tired and exhausted I've been in a really long time, so I'm gonna crash. because I was so exhausted that I just slept despite all of the truck noise, but it went well. But he says we need coffee.
I go through coffee fast. Oh, the last thing I want to do on earth is drive right now, but we've got to keep going, so. I got stickers in there because when I get my car fridge eventually, um, I want to put stickers on it. So, you guys know I had to grab a hot mess because that is me at all times. So. Oh. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.